Hello everyone, Baraklava here. I wanted to give you a status update to answer some questions, as Medic Miners 1.0 has been completed. We're gonna talk about Medic Miners, this YouTube channel, and what I'm going to do next. This can be a very casual video, so feel free to do something else in the background. First of all, Medic Miners is completed. It's been about a month now and, wow, the feedback I received has been overwhelmingly positive. I am so happy with how the game turned out, and I'm very thankful for all the support. I never thought the game would reach this point when I started back in 2019. I thought I would be done with the remake in one year and then that it wouldn't be anywhere near this quality. This game is just one aspect of this project though, and we need to talk about the side of the game I haven't really talked about before, which is myself. I need to emphasize, I am the only developer for Manic Miners. I have made all the coding, models, animations, balancing, made of the textures, sound edits, several music tracks, most of the trailers, and more. All at my own pace, in my free time. While the game might be in a good state, I need to confess that working on Manic Miners has not been entirely healthy for me at times. The pressure to finish the game and uphold a high standard has led to a lot of stress. The last four years I've worked on this, I've essentially put all my other projects and interests on hold and spent many hours, even vacation time, on getting the game finished. I don't regret working on it, in fact I've really enjoyed it, but it periodically became just as much a burden as it was a passion project, and that needs to change because I can't work on this game forever. This game is my love letter to the fantastic and inspirational rock with this community, and now I need to put my own health and well-being first and focus on what I want to do next. This means that after all this, I'm a bit tired, and I have a lot of other things I want to do. So I'm taking a break from Manic Miners and game development. It's only been a few weeks without obligations, and I'm already feeling much better and less stressed. Any future patches or updates are only when I feel like working on the game. With that in mind, let's talk about the state of the game and its future. The game is considered finished, it is fully playable and can receive endless community levels. That's where I will leave it for now and if an update or patch comes, it comes. I can't keep up with everybody's wishes, so I will instead follow my own. Please disregard any other plans I've stated during development, they are all on hold for now. Mac and Linux versions are still a work in progress though. In terms of content, modding is by far the number one requested feature and would enable the game to receive endless community created content. However, there are so many dependencies on such an update, it would take probably take years to make it happen, and right now I am not feeling like spending the time and energy to do that. I will also not be open sourcing the game. It would add more work and stress because I would have to document old code, refactor a lot of the game, and then maintain an open source project and answer a lot of questions. But if I don't touch the game in several years, we might discuss that again. Some people have been asking if I would be planning on making a sequel to the Rock Raiders or Manic Miners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd love to, but I'm only a single developer. Such an undertaking could take maybe 10 years on its own if I do it in my spare time, so not right now. I've also got a request to remake everything from LEGO Alpha Team to LEGO Chess, and no, the only plan I ever had was remaking LEGO Rock Raiders. So if you want to remake LEGO Racers or LEGO Chess, go for it. I'd love to see it. I did have plans for a Racers fan game, or a LEGO Racers 3, but LEGO 2K Drive kind of took the steam out of that idea. I would still like to do a Racers game eventually, so I'll let you guys know if I find the time and energy for that at some point. The answer to all of these is that, as much as I would love to do all of it, the limiting factor is time and energy, which I want to spend elsewhere for now. You might wonder what I want to do then. First, Let's talk about this YouTube channel. Since the game might not receive another trailer, I'm planning on rebranding it to my personal YouTube channel. As I've said, I'm the only developer for this game. It's just as much a personal channel as it's a channel for the game. I would like to do my own niche LEGO content and talk about more obscure stuff. For example, Wow, a blue rock with this roll cage. I sure do wonder what the story behind that is. Uh, what is this? A rock with this beta build? Wow, I sure hope somebody is interested in hearing about that. I've got more good stuff planned, but you'll have to wait to see what I can accomplish, as I am not really experienced with YouTube. 
As for the Discord servers, they will stay the same and keep evolving. They aren't built around me, they are built around you. It's not my personal fan club after all. I don't think I even have any personal fans. But yeah, they'll keep tracking on as usual. We are looking at some events for the Medic Miner server, but it's hard to find the time. The second thing I want to work on is the LEGO Research Realm. I mentioned this before, the LEGO Research Realm is a community of people who would like to research LEGO topics in more detail, and at the heart of it, we're working on a wiki for more obscure LEGO information. If you ever wanted to know exactly how much health a pusher beam in a LEGO Rock Radius deals, know who designed the Grand Grinder, read a guide on how to get LEGO Loco to run, repair all LEGO motors, or how many prototypes there are of part 30248, this wiki should be the place for such information. But as much as I'd like to, I can't write an entire wiki on my own. That means we need you. If you are a LEGO nerd and want to write informative wiki articles and guides about the little LEGO details that you care about, then join the LEGO Research Realm. Some might also wonder about the DDI drives. Basically, I wrote a Reddit post in 2020 about a fundraiser to save some hard drives from Data Design Interactive, the company who made LEGO Rock Raiders for PC. It's been a slow ride, and the content of the drives is still being sorted. There were a few broken drives as well, where I got funding to repair some of them, and we actually found a few fragments of actual Rock Raiders source code. However, most of what was found was corrupted and unusable, so we have to keep looking, because there are a few more drives to repair. Unfortunately, the remaining repairs will cost a few thousand dollars, so we are looking into setting up a fundraiser there eventually. Any progress will be announced in the LEGO Research Realm, and if you're interested in helping sorting out the content, then please join the LEGO Research Realm. In conclusion, Medic Miners is on hold, any other game plans are on hold, I'm on a break, and I'm planning to make some other YouTube content on this channel. There are also other larger things that I can't talk about yet. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Have a lovely day.